Hi everybody, my name is Horia Peruzzi and today I'll be walking you through um, a Hyperledger Fabric node SDK example with the IBM blockchain starter plan. So let's go ahead and go into our starter plan. This is mine. I'll show you how to create the service in a second, but first I just want to show you a quick, quick introduction of what the goal of the video is. So the goal of the video is to actually help you understand this blockchain starter plan, show you how to transact with it, and how to create a simple car auction network application on top of it. So first things first, let's go into our code and we'll go ahead and invoke our chain code. So in our actual invoke, um, one of the files that you get with this GitHub repository, we will send requests to our chain code. You see here our chain code is car auction and our function that we call is init ledger. So if we go to a, a, the chain code um, and we go to init ledger, you'll see here, this is the data, this member, vehicle, vehicle listing, all this data will be put onto the blockchain. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, again, what's important to note is if we refresh the page, we should only see 17 blocks. Um, okay, great. So let's do node invoke. Um, we see that our proposal was good. We get a 200 and then now our committed change um, should be on the ledger now. So if we refresh, we should sit 18 blocks. 18 blocks, we have 17 seconds since our last transaction and we can go ahead and look at the data that was actually written onto the ledger. Um, so I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, you see here what we kind of actually wrote on the ledger. We see that we called a net ledger and we wrote all these members, um, this uh, vehicle listing. Um, yeah, so we that's kind of everything we've written on the ledger. Okay, perfect. So that's working. Um, next, let's actually create some offers. So basically what we have here is we have a car vehicle listing right here. We see that minimum price that the uh, owner is willing to um, sell the car is 3500 and we see that the listing state is for sale and this is the vehicle identification number uh, VIN um, is 1234 so this is all just sim pretty simple stuff so next I want to show you um, this I have this little uh, this text file that has all these requests so the first thing we want to do is to make a request to uh, make offer so in our actual invoke JS, we'll go ahead and copy and paste this. And now we're going to call make offer with these three arguments. We're going to say that the offer is 3000. Um, the, the vehicle listing that we're referring to that we want to make an offer to is ABCD. And we are member A. So now if you look back into our car auction, um, when we actually init, initialize the ledger, we say that the vehicle owner is member A. And now remember that member A is still bidding on the same uh, car. So unfortunately, that's illegal. It's called shilling. So we have a test for that in our uh, make offer. So in make offer, um, if you check here, um, we have this check here. If the vehicle owner is the um, same as the offers, uh, member, we say that the bidder cannot bid on this item. So that's what should happen here. So let's try it out, see if it works. Okay. Uh, again, we see here, um, own, error, owner cannot bid on own item, right? So that's good. That works. Um, so also this means that this transaction never went through. So it never got recorded on the ledger. Again, if we check that now, if we check this 18 blocks, it should still be the exact same. Yep, so it's the same because there's an error and nothing got put onto the ledger. That's great. Now, um, back to our text file. Um, let's make a real transaction that works. So this transaction or this offer has member B in it. Um, so this should be fine because member A owns the actual car. So let's give this request, um, node invoke, and now we should get a 200 message and then successfully committed the change on the ledger by the peer. Great. Um, let's make another offer now from for 5,000. Um, and remember that 
each member, once they are initialized into the ledger, only has 5,000. That's very important. Their balance is each 5,000. Again, uh, we'll copy and paste this into here. So we have a $5,000 offer from member C. Really good offer there. That's, you know, they're willing to put everything they have. Great. So again, we see this su successfully was um, written on the ledger. And lastly, um, again, we can we can go ahead and check, but I, I don't want to waste time doing that. Um, but lastly, we will actually close the bidding. Uh, I, sorry, we'll make one more request, this time with uh, a higher offer, but it's over the balance. So there should be um, a, a problem there. So if we give this request for 5001, there should be a check that makes sure that says, no, you can't make this offer. You don't have enough money. So that's exactly what happens um, in car auction. When we in make offer, we say something like, oh, if, if the member's balance is less than the bid price, then the bid is higher than the balance in your account. Um, so let's try that. So again, we should get an error here. Um, yep. Uh, bid is higher than the balance in your account. Okay, great. Um, now let's go ahead and close the bidding. So most of the actual um, logic is actually in this closed bidding function. We are passing in this vehicle listing um, ID number. So this is the ID number we're referring to. Again, just to refresh your memory, the ABCD is, simp is just this vehicle listing um, right here. And then you see we put it into the actual ledger as this key for ABCD, and then the value is just this whole object. Okay, great. So let's close the bidding. Um, if you remember, uh, I believe member C gave the highest offer, Tom Warner, and Amy Williams was the original uh, owner of the car. So let's go ahead and close the bidding. Uh, we should invoke it and we should see everything um, went well. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our um, channel. We should have three more blocks, two for the offers that went through and the third for the closed bidding, we should be at 21 now. Okay, we're at 21. We see the 17 seconds since the last transaction. Looking good so far. And now we can inspect each of these offers. So basically we made an offer and what we do when we make that offer is we update the vehicle listing. So the vehicle listing shows which uh, car is being listed, what's the state, this is for sale, what are the offers on it? So right now we have an array of offers, one with the bid price of 4,000, and the member that is, is going for this is member B, and the reserve price is of course 3,500, and the vehicle identification number is 1234. Awesome. So on the second offer, we should see both this 4,000 bid price and also the 5,000 one. So let's go ahead and check that. Yep. So here we go. We see the 4,000 one and then the second offer that we give for 5,000 from member C. And lastly, when we close bidding, we should see that the new balances in member C is 10,000 and member, uh, sorry, member A is 10,000 and member C is zero, right? So again, that's exactly what we see. We see member C is zero because they just bought the car and member A is 10,000 because they just sold their car. Now, if we see the actual vehicle listing, um, we can go ahead and see that it's sold. There's no offers on it. And that's pretty much it. Um, we also see that 1234 is the vehicle identification number and we see that owner is changed. So initially the owner is member A, now it's member C. So what's cool about this is that I can actually um, show you exactly how to query the blockchain too. So if we go back, let's go ahead and do a simple query. So right now we're just going to query the uh, vehicle listing. If we do node query, we should get that response back. Again, we see exactly what we saw onto the ledger, right? exactly what we saw on our cloud platform. So again, if we query 1234, which is the vehicle identification, identification number, wow, that was tough, we should see the owner as being member C, save, clear, node query, okay, owner is member C. So that's more or less what you're getting out of the box. So you're getting this car auction, you can make offers, and then you can close the bidding, and then that will 
update the member's balances and also update the owner of the car. That's, that's of course, if the reserve price has been met. Awesome. Well, of course, if you liked it, uh, please go ahead and comment, thumbs up. Uh, anything of that manner will be highly, highly valued and appreciated. Thanks so much. Take care. Horia out.